Okay, part two, immune system boost. So let's just run that central meridian. Boost that conscious, that conscious part of the brain. I want to be, I want to be healthy. I choose to live my best life. I choose to be happy, healthy and well. Okay, now let me just go through a couple of things in relation, give me a yes, give me a no. Okay, so what's going on in relation to the immune system etherically and energetically? So let's go uh, fungal, molds, bacterial. Okay, so firstly in relation to bacterial and bacterial particles. Bacteria and bacterial particles. Okay, so firstly Let's just, this one up here is kidney 27, this one down here is spleen 21. So tap it a tap tap. That helps to boost the body's immune system for bacteria. My body aims to regulate bacterial growth. My body chooses good bacteria over bad. I choose to have a majority of good bacteria in my in my immune system. No, no. Okay, so tapping that thymus gland. One of the things yogis do is get out in the morning, face the sun and tap the thymus gland. Just closing the eyes, allowing the vitamin D in through the eyelids and tapping the thymus gland to wake up the immune system just in underneath your sternum. So bacteria, something else. Okay, let's go. Right, so uh, the governing meridian is showing up. The governing meridian runs from the tailbone up the spine and in underneath the mouth. So just hand on the back of the tailbone, put your tongue on the roof of the mouth for a moment so that gets the beginning and end of the governing meridian. Okay, that's better. Okay, liver energy. So just in underneath, above the bottom of the rib cage, those little points just in underneath there are the end of the liver meridian. So by rubbing those, it activates the meridian. Yeah, okay, interesting. They're a little bit tender. I had a great time over the weekend. That could be why the liver's showing up, running that central meridian. Okay, anything else in relation to bacteria? Okay, now let's ask in relation to viral. So this just helps to get the body recognizing things. We still need to get our supplements and stuff, but energetically, if the body doesn't recognize things, it's hard for it to actually fight, do the good fight of, you know, killing things off when we're at the beginning of, at the beginning of a cold. So once again, fungus, molds, candida, bacteria, viral, okay. So let's go viral and viral infections, viral and viral particles. You always throw in the particles as well. Okay, so asking the body to enhance my antiviral immune system, asking the body to boost lymphocytes, asking the body to boost neutrophils, asking the body to boost monocytes. And if necessary, asking the body to increase eosinophils and basophils. Because generally we don't want too many of those because they can make the bloodstream quite acidic. So tapity, tapity, tap, tap, tap. Wakey, wakey, little immune system. I choose to be happy, healthy and well. I choose to be happy, healthy and well. I choose to be happy, healthy and well. Choose to be happy, healthy, and well. Okay, so spleen energy. Okay, so, okay, so there's some little points at the side of the head, teddy bear ears at the side of the head that helps to send blood supply to the pancreas organ spleen meridian but the spleen is hugely involved in the immune system okay 
Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to ask the body for optimal levels of T helper 1, 2 and 3 cells. Optimal levels of T helper 1, 2 and 3 cells. So our T helper 1 cells help to kill off our viruses, bacteria, cancer cells, candida, parasites, whatever we need. Our T helper 2 cells are mobilised when we've got allergies. So they help to break down undigested proteins in the bloodstream, even stuff like, you know, dust mites and moulds and grasses. It's often the proteins that the body's having an issue with. Okay. Optimal balance of T helper 1, 2 and 3 cells. I choose to be happy, healthy and well. I choose to be happy, healthy and well. I choose to be happy, healthy and well. So hold those little emotional stress release points. Allow that energy to come to the frontal cortex. We want to stay conscious when we're boosting our immune system. We don't want to go into survival because that'll actually shut down the immune system. Okay, so hand at the front, hand at the rear. Allow that energy to zippity doo -dah from front to back and back to front and front to back. Just visualize that little pathway like a highway zipping back and forth so we can easily come back to consciousness if we go into survival. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay. I choose to be happy, healthy and well. I choose to be happy, healthy and well. I choose to be happy, healthy and well. Mm. Take care, everyone. Hope you're doing well and I'll see you all again tomorrow.